What's going on? It's so soft. I threw the ball and it just disappeared. You're playing fetch with Leela yeah. and you throw it and it just disappears on it. Yeah. <laughs> like a fox in the snow. That was so funny. Leela, where's the ball? Where is it? There, she found it, but oh, it just it's already out there. Oh, there yeah. she goes. Welcome back to the Carla Crusher channel. These guys have no idea why I'm filming right now. That's why it's a little awkward. There's Leela, but guess what? What? You what? guys gotta follow me inside because okay. you both have something that came in the mail <gasps> today. Yes! Let's go check it out. What's up? Okay, you ready? Is Yours is in the top <laughs> box. This is mine? Yeah. This is Kyle's? That okay, one's ready? Kyle's right there. Okay, you open yours first. Oh boy. Do you know what it is? I think I know oh, what that I is. Know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a surprise oh, unboxing cute. video. We got a lot of cool oh, stuff gosh. going on today. Here, here, I'll do it. Yeah. That is cute. This is cute. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? It's my Mandalorian helmet. Yeah. It's the Mando helmet. Dude, that is actually made out of metal. Kyle's oh been gosh. waiting for this to come in the mail forever for his birthday. Oh, nice. He's finally a teenager. Yeah. yeah. What he wanted more than anything that's so sick. was that a Mando is... helmet. Dude, that's legit. Look at that. This that's, is the way. Dude, it's like actually handmade. Wow, that's, that's, yeah, that's, really that's super cool. So does it have some oil on it? Yeah, just a little bit. So there's a way to wipe that off, like a certain way to do that, but we'll take care of it. You could probably try and slip it on and see. Okay, I don't want it to slip everywhere. I'll It'll have to okay. like... Oh, just be careful. What did Link awesome. get over here? It's a ring press. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. This is a nice one too. Luke Thank has been you. getting into custom ring making yes. where he takes vintage silverware and turns, turns it, it into, into jewelry. Yes. This so, is awesome. It's a ring press. We'll have to get that it set up cool. and show everybody your little workstation over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is so cool. It actually fits pretty it's good, really dude. Done. I it can looks... see right off this visor. Does it work good? Yeah. How many I can fingers see right am I holding up? Three. Three? Uh, four, not including the song. Oh, dude, smart. That's pretty sick, dude. That's sick. Yeah, that's right. really cool. Yeah. That looks awesome. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Top spoons right over there. So, like, yeah. for example, grab one of those I would take, spoons. so first of all, you get the measurement, and then you yeah. cut it, and then it's like flat. And you would put it in there, and then bend it. And the silver. You crank that bar. Yeah. And it goes, mm -hmm. bends it, and then you keep rotating it around until exactly. it's a whole loop. It's really cool, but there's different sizes, so it can work on a bunch of different materials and stuff too. It's like now you have like a huge vise. We should paint yeah. this, get the rust yeah. off, and paint it. And then you've got a little anvil and everything, and dinner I got kits, a whole setup here, man. The sizing system and little hammers and stuff. Soldering tool. I got everything. That's cool. Okay, now we're gonna work on my customization yeah. section. Oh, he got all the Windex stuff. He cleaned it all up. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty sick. It is made of metal. Yeah. It's not fakey. It's not plastic or anything. It's like a real Mando helmet, yeah. dude. Yeah. That's <laughs> cool. That's cool. I love it. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? I'm going to crush this. I'm going to drop it. You're going to crush it? I'm going to drop it, yeah. Okay. Oh, it sounds so good. <sighs> Satisfying. We have been working out here in the garage for quite some time now, and we're getting close to having our RC car custom workshop done. And now it's time to pull all this stuff off of the shelves here and decide what colors we're going to paint it for our cool custom RC car workshop. I was going to try and go hide out there and catch you coming back in. <laughs> Guess I caught you off guard. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? You're too close, man. What the heck? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Watch it. You're too close. You're like point blank. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, it didn't break. <laughs> you can't cry if I hit you with this. If I actually hit you. <laughs> Listen to his laugh. <laughs> oh, I missed. My hand's cut. <laughs>
<laughs> we have so many x Max shells. I know, look at them all. These are all of our different custom jobs. These are like even the hydro dipped ones that we did. Yeah, no, right? we yeah. have some that aren't even painted yet either. I know they're all stacked up here. We even have Nintendo Donkey Kong and Mario Kart ones over here. But we're taking it all down off the shelves now. Gonna clean this all up and give it a new fresh paint job. It doesn't look like very much right now, but we've got the first coat of paint going on. Gonna give it a backdrop of some glossy silver, maybe some gold, and we'll add the frame with some color. I don't know, we'll see what we come up with. Oh yeah, we're starting to throw some paint on this thing now. It's starting to look good, we've got uh, silver chrome metallic back wall. We've got blue on the sides. You can't tell right now. We'll show you the rest of it. There's red underneath, and then it's actually got a copper tone finish on the top. The lighting in here is not great right now. And then we're just doing a black frame. Kyle's helping paint that out. It's gonna look pretty nice when we're done. Decided we're gonna change these this front up to red. Oh yeah, that already looks so cool. Yeah, that looks gonna, a lot better. We're gonna keep back here some of these beams black still because it does look cool to highlight and separate the colors a little bit. But I think the front needs to be more red. That's what we're gonna do. So I'll watch my angle and we'll go like this. That already looks like so much more. Yeah, that looks so much it's better. Like Optimus Prime. <laughs> but, but no, yeah, totally looks like Transformers edition or something really cool. Like that. Yeah, and then the black in the back just makes the red pop even more and gives depth to the shelf and it stuff. Makes it look deeper and pops the front out. It's gonna be cool to let it dry, put some lighting in here, and then we're gonna come up uh, with our next challenge and let you guys vote and decide down in the comments below which RC car challenge we're gonna do next time we get together and do another one. Who snoo is that? Who is snoo is that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> is that a It's a boople snoo coming through the door. <laughs> coming to say hello. Hello. Come on. You can come on. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you too curious? See what's out here? Does it smell bad? Whew. I know. These fumes are getting crazy, but we're almost done. We're just working on the bottom so shelves. Close. This is fast drying paint, and we're gonna load it all up, get the lights set up, put the cars back up. It's gonna be good to go. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. We're actually lighting this whole thing up. I think the paint is pretty much dried enough that we can start putting the RC cars back on the shelf, finish cleaning up the last of the garage, which isn't much now, and then we'll have our own custom RC car shop right here in the house. It's gonna be so cool. I've wanted this my whole life. Our new RC car shop is so cool. I'm giving it a gold star. Yeah. Oh yeah, gold, gold star of approval. <laughs> yeah. Does it look okay? Yeah, I think, I think so. Good. Yeah, should we just do one star right in the middle? Yeah. Or should we do three across there? Oh, just, I'm not sure. <laughs> just the one? I think we should do just the one for now. Okay, we'll leave it just one star. Let us know down in the comments below if you think we should add more stars or even do more all the way up. But we're almost done with the garage. Let's finish this job. You guys, the garage looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's all shelved up and put together. Everything is getting organized. And now it's time to put the RC car stuff together up on the shelves. Luke is putting stuff up on the top rack. It's all painted up. It's all organized. It's like a whole film set. I even strategically put these racks over here so that it diffuses the lighting a little bit so I can open the garage doors. It's like an actual film set. Yeah. You can actually record here and do stuff. I've it's wanted really cool. it my whole life, like a That's whole cool. station to come out here and do crafts and projects. I kind of want to do epoxy art and experiments. Yeah. Uh, I might even get into doing like knife making and get a small, awesome. like a table Ooh. foundry and all that, but this looks really good. It all starts here 
We've got so many different X Maxes. This was the truck. It's like Evil Knievel themed, and it became <laughs> it became the ultimate inspiration for the the set today. So. It's also gone through a lot too. It has holes from jet rockets. I know. Yeah, it's all got a hole melted in here, and it still survived. It's my favorite truck so far. Uh, it's really cool, but I like the paint job, so we went with that. It's got the blue bins and everything. It just all came together. I can't believe it. We're almost done. We're so close. So close. So close. I can't believe that it's all coming together finally. Oh, it's so cool. The lighting adds a lot, and especially when we get a little bit better lighting, like film set lighting and stuff in here, it's going to really pop. It'll be cool. Yeah, it's going to pull everything together. It's going to pop really well. It's awesome. The lighting really adds a lot. It's so cool. Yeah, it looks awesome. We should just put the shells on them so it's like a trophy case. Yeah, 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 yeah. We even have a spot for all of these slashes. Kind of feels backwards having all of our broken slashes there with the star, doesn't it? It feels like <laughs> we should have like our big epic trucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe we just need to get more, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Cool ones. So we got all the shells up there on the top. We've got the slashes right there. We've got the X Maxes and the big ones here. We might have to stack them up and we'll put some big ones in the middle because we still have a couple of the big ones here. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Oh, yeah. It's, way cool. it's all coming together. Yeah. It looks so sick, right? It looks awesome. It looks so sick. I love it. Now I feel like we could actually like come up with really creative ideas. We we'll have a space to work. And even if it's cold, we can turn on the fireplace, Kyle, right behind me. You. you should oh, just turn it on right there. Yeah. Flip the switches. Check it out. It actually works. Flip them both up. They're both up. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, we actually have a cool. working fireplace to keep the garage up out here. <laughs> that is so right? sick. It looks awesome. Welcome to, what do we call this? The Crusher Crew. Cribs. Crusher Crew Cribs. Crusher Crew Crib. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's our custom RC car mod shop. Look, we've even got a deluxe heater with a fan that blows. Traffic cones. Traffic cones, gas masks. We've got rope and everything. That so if we need to survive in an apocalypse, just come to the Crusher Crew crib. That's right. All the camp gear is over here. we got all the supplies and everything. Got any shell that you could possibly need up here. We got all the RC cars. We got oh, yeah. chairs over there. Everything up here. All the big boys up here on the top. Oh, yeah. It's all painted up and these ones down here and then we've got storage bins below and we've even got some nice cushy uh, moving blanket padding this is our carpet it. it's our carpet and everything <laughs> this could, is so I sick right this is really cool and we got this workbench so check it out let's grab the main rc car up there and bring it down here so that's what we do is we get to select one from the arsenal throw it down here at the mod shop station right here yeah, yeah. and decide so here's what we're going to ask you guys to do is vote down in the comments below right now what you think we should do with this RC car in our next mod shop video. Should we adapt this thing to drive on the water or on the ice and then take it up to a lake early in the morning on a frozen lake and try that out? Or should we equip this with a metal detector and try to make it a RC car remote metal detector? So let us know down in the comments below and make sure and follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on the Facebook page, and yeah, yeah. everywhere you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.